And hard to believe election day is just 89 days away. And while there's a lot of attention on the candidates, there's also a big focus on security and protecting your vote. Denver 7's Mark Stewart is live right now. Mark, you found out cyber attacks are already happening. Yeah, and, and I don't think this is a big surprise, but the Secretary of State's website, for example, is hacked or attempted to be hacked uh, almost every day on a pretty routine basis. So far, the safeguards, though, seem to be working. As far as Election Day, though, is concerned, the state's election chief says he's ready. Largely, we are a security nightmare for somebody that's trying to commit fraud in Colorado. Tonight, Colorado's election chief is standing by the state system to prevent an election day cyber attack, despite fears of an international effort to thwart the process. Already, the state is fighting against hackers, some far from Colorado, none successful. They're being initiated by you know, people in foreign countries, people domestically, people, they're trying to just get into big databases. The state's confidence comes from its multi-pronged approach. Machines are checked well before the election and sealed. Testing takes place throughout the voting process. Votes are double-checked after the polls close. The system that we run in Colorado, and I feel like this is the case around the country, um, is a very secure system, and it's so decentralized that it would be really hard for somebody to create a conditions which would lead to a rigged outcome. Finally, nothing is entirely electronic. State law requires all Colorado equipment to leave a printout of votes. I believe that the biggest problem that we face right now is the feeling that people have that there's a potential vulnerability. On election day itself, two of the big concerns will be power failures and internet outages. I am told the state has backups for both. We are live in the newsroom tonight. Mark Stewart, Denver 7.